should be no secret that most cars have lots and lots of light bulbs to change. Everything from headlights to taillights, even instrument cluster bulbs to various others. And of course, SOBs, they're just like every other manufacturer out there, right? Well, I do have one bulb that I think that most Saab owners actually don't even know that you can change. So it shouldn't be too difficult to pick out the bulb that I'm referring to. So you have this green hue, and that's kind of Saab's thing. You have all these green bulbs, and one of them sticks out a little bit more than others. And what I'm referring to is a cigarette lighter. That bulb, believe it or not, you can actually change. And I have changed this bulb in the past. I did use the correct bulb, but I'll show you here in a sec. There's actually a little green sleeve that goes over it. Um, it's not a specific green bulb, but uh, I will show you that here in a sec. In the light, it will make a little more sense. But for the time being, I did replace this, and I broke that little sleeve on it, and now it's no longer lighting up green like it should. It's, it, I mean, it's kind of convenient because it's, I guess, real easy to pick up a cigarette lighter. But uh, at the same time, it's kind of annoying with everything green and uniform and this one not being such. But I've worked on numerous 9.3s. I've owned a few of them. All of them have had this ball blown out. So I figured, hey, why not? Let me show you how it's done. We will pick back up in the daytime. That way it makes a little more sense in the daylight. Now that it's daytime, you'll be able to see exactly how to change that little bulb. So for starters, you'll pull the original socket out, uh, the cover there if you have it or if it's open, or even if you're like myself, you have a Bluetooth adapter, charging cable, something along those lines in the cigarette lighter, go ahead and pull it. But kind of a, a little rant here. Uh, I don't remember the manufacturer for this, but I believe I got this off Amazon. This is a Bluetooth adapter with the USB plugs in there so you can charge up your cell phones or whatever else. But it's super handy. You just set your radio to a certain station and you can actually skip from here and, and make calls and stuff. So. Really handy, simple, you don't have a bunch of cables running around, and you don't have to worry about charging anything separate. Very cool, I'll put the link in the description. Anyways, so we'll pull this little rubber guy out, and now this is where it kind of gets tricky. Take both your hands, and actually take two fingers, and you'll be able to kind of lift up in there, and just pull back towards yourself, and it pops right out. Now if you really want to, you can remove this entire thing, there is a plastic clip here, you can get a screwdriver or pliers, pop that off, and then these electrical connectors for the socket itself. But you really don't need to remove those, uh, with the exception of this one, which goes to the light. So, in the past, when I changed this bulb, this green piece, which I'll show you here close up in a sec, the tab kind of busted off, so I put a zip tie on here just to really hold things together. So, let me uh, clip this out. And there should be a little tab here, but mine's actually broke off. So you definitely want to be careful when you remove this because this little green piece, it gets very brittle over time. So this is actually what it's supposed to look like. I do have another one. This one, I'll see if I can find a part number and if I can find it, I'll be sure to link it in the description. But basically I got this one from a junkyard uh, because I knew the last time I changed this bulb out, I ended up breaking this, but no fear if this cracks, which more than likely it will, you can just throw a zip tie on there like I had it, and it's not going to go anywhere. Alright, so with this removed, this is the broken one, with a regular incandescent bulb in there, and to remove this, to change the bulb out, you can't just pull it out from the front. So what you need to do is get like a eyeglass repair kit with some really small screwdrivers and take one flathead on the one side, stick another flathead on the opposite side. And you want to work this little tab out. There you go. Removes like such. Now the green sleeve. It's going to be very difficult to transfer over. 
So here is the good one that it's not broken cracked. We'll repeat the process here. So there is that little sleeve. So we're gonna try ever so carefully to take this off. If you're wondering about bulb replacements, this is obviously the blown out one. Uh, and you can tell that by the black end here, but this you can find at your local auto parts store. It is a Slovenia bulb, incandescent bulb. It is a 2721, so it's Slovenia 2721. You can find it online, Amazon. I will put the link in the description, or like I said, you can actually find it local. And here is the little green cover that goes to it so it's very tricky to remove from the original so if you want the light and you can't salvage the green there's a couple options you can a run just the regular incandescent bulb you have the light but then it's going to be that whitish yellow color like the one that i'm trying to get rid of you can buy a pack of these Right now, I want to say they're going to be 10 bucks or less on eBay. Sometimes they show up on Amazon, but uh, basically it's 10 bucks, and you'll get like a five-pack or something along those lines. And I'll put the link in the description for that. Also, there is a third option, and that would be to replace this with a LED. So the LED, you may have issues putting it back in side this little factory connector guy i'm not entirely sure you may need to modify it i think you have to trim this out a little bit but basically it's a t5 led bulb and you can get that in green so i will actually list that in the description as well so you do have a couple options led will probably last the longest but may need some form of modification also the led one if you use the dim function for your lights, the interior lights, the LED is not gonna dim like the incandescent bulb would. But if you don't really use your dimmer that often, then it's not quite the worry, and it will outlast a regular incandescent. So those are the options. So, so we'll transfer over that green cover to the new bulb and put this all back together, and I will put a replacement one of these on there, and we'll throw it back in the car. Got the black portion that the bulb goes into, that green piece, this one I pulled from a junkyard. I'll see if I can find a part number on that if yours is broke. The new Slovenia 2721 bulb and a little green sleeve. So let's put this all back together. So there you have it. So it's not perfect. I do have a slight tear up in the top, right up there. And then the bottom isn't down all the way, but this should be good enough. I mean, for reusing the original sleeve, I mean, this is pretty impressive. I highly suggest just buying new sleeves, or if you decide to replace this ball, just run it as is. I mean, if the sleeve breaks, no biggie. I mean, if it means a lot to you than spending you know ten dollars for the five pack or whatever it is but uh, that's probably as good as it's gonna get and as far as reassembly as you saw I actually had that sleeve inside out and then stuck it on there and then ended up being able to work it down the rest of the way but for the original sleeve and reusing it this is as good as it is going to get so now we just end up sticking the bulb in like such Take the sleeve with this long prong at the bottom. It'll only go one way. Stick it in there. You'll hear that satisfying click, and you are ready for reassembly.
the regular non-covered incandescent bulb, and the green. There's the green, just like OEM. So let me show you how I got to this point. So here is this bulb assembly back together. And notice there's a slit on this side and a slit on the opposing side. Well, those slits actually need to go on each end of this white kind of clearish piece. And then on top of that, to complicate things, you have this metal piece on the bottom. It's very flexible, but that needs to rest on the metal casing of the cigarette lighter. So right now I have one side in, the other side that you can't see kind of where my thumb is down there. I should be able to just to press down, yep, and click into place. So the metal of this is touching the casing. You probably can't see it, but it's way down in there. And then both sides are clipped into place. And then the last remaining part of the puzzle is the connector. Reassembly is quite simple. So the hardest part is just kind of lining everything into place. And push it in, you'll hear it click. And you'll know it's in place, not only with the click, but that this little line here, everything is pretty much flush. And then don't forget your little rubber isolator. That just goes in like such. And there you go. Now you can reinstall your cap if you have the original, or if you like it open, or if you have a Bluetooth adapter. But before I do that, let me cut the lights and show you the nice green uniform glow. There's the final product. Now if you have your little cover, you can put it in, or if you're like myself, you can throw in your Bluetooth adapter. Now with this in, the ring itself just won't be as pronounced as say with it out because that's kind of cool just glowing green and everything looks nice and perfect and uniform way better than just the regular incandescent bulb now with that being said is it worth spending the ten dollars or however much it is for a couple of those replacement green sleeves probably not but if you're like myself and you like all this stuff nice and uniform and green then I would say definitely go for it now the LED that's a cool maybe more of a long-term solution but unfortunately, I cannot speak from personal experience. I've just kind of heard and read a couple different things about that where you're going to have to modify a little bit. And then also this dimming function, if you notice how this slowly dims down. This goes into the night mode and then back up nice and bright. Well, unfortunately, with the LED, I don't believe that's going to work properly like it would with the incandescent bulb. But it's very cool. Uh, be sure to like this video and comment down below, and especially like and comment if you did not even know that you can replace the cigarette lighter bulb. And of course, be sure to share and subscribe. All that stuff helps me out, gives me more motivation to do videos like these, anything helpful, and uh, kind of share my sob knowledge. And also with that being said, I do have tons and tons of other videos and not just sob stuff, but I do have a ton of other videos that may be helpful. So with that being said, I appreciate you watching and I will catch you guys next time.